Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality. I thought it was time to release a video after a day out in the quote unquote real world working and so forth and talking to people you um, you get to hear a few things and learn a few things and I've noticed more than a couple of people have been going through their own frustrations and depression and what have you in their real life situations and could be a work situation that's really pissing someone off or family situation or whatever it may be. Um, those of us who are in the manosphere who are more um, attuned, I suppose, um, the whole gynocentric system and the, the way society is crumbling and invert the whole inversion thing spreading its tentacles further and further, it can cause some serious levels of um, anger and frustration. And it's easy to get caught up in it. I myself have been guilty of that during the past few weeks. And it's quite unnecessary because that's not our stuff to deal with. I think that's one of the symptoms of being caught up in the, this mass media instant information online world we're living in. Things which are nothing to do with us, which have no bearing on our own personal lives whatsoever, we take to heart and get angry about and frustrated about and all the rest of it. And we really shouldn't. And that disturbs our peace of mind and our sense of serenity when it doesn't really need to because we have our own battles enough to deal with, namely the constant battle with our own ego mind. Someone says something, annoys you, pisses you off, and ego mind steps right in and gets more angry and you tell a few people about it and the energy created by this situation grows and expands and affects you more and more Couple that with all the other things you may be experiencing, frustration and anger over, it doesn't leave a very pleasant experience. So what I'm trying to say here is let it go. Let that stuff go. It's not... As someone, I forget who it was, I wish I'd give them the credit... There was a saying that a few people have repeated, not my circus, not my monkeys. <laughs> uh, that's just absolutely fantastic and covers it very nicely. It's The way I see it, it's a balancing act between being aware of what's going on and what's really going on and your own personal life and your own sense of accomplishment and well-being and uh, peace and, and serenity. Because it's all fine to be informed and all the rest of it, but if that sort of annoys you to the nth degree, then it's probably not something you need to be really indulging in. And the way I see it, it's a two-pronged uh, um, attack. You detach and engage in something which enables you to be outside. Something physical where you can release all that pent-up frustration which we get in modern life. Take a look at the typical commute to work on, um, in the car one day. Road rage. Wow. A lot of people are around have a lot of frustration and it's very important to release that frustration that we have. Go for a long walk. Include some hills in your walk. I would say run, but the stress on the knees and the ankles would kill you in the end. And you'll be one of those 
doddering oldies with who walk in, in, in with a very slow shuffle. Go for a bike ride. Um, do some weights. Crank the music up and uh, let it all let it all go. Uh, those of us who are lucky enough have a really really enjoyable guitar session. <laughs> you know, few things really help more effectively than that. I mean, hell, those of us who are gamers get get online, play a game, sh shoot something, kill something. Okay. Go outside, go to a cafe, get a coffee, read a book. Re-engage with real everyday life. Put your phone away. Turn it off if you're tempted to always think about going back online. Switch your phone off. Let it go. Yes, someone on the inner medicine is going to piss you off. It's a, it's a compressed microcosm. That's what it does. That's pronged, that's pronged attack number one. The other one may seem like a contradiction, but it's a paradox. And paradox uh, is where the real action is of change for the better, for empowering yourselves, self-realization, and all those wonderful light bulb moments that we will get. Paradox. When you're really frustrated, when you're really pissed off, or if you're feeling down or depressed or whatever, accept, fully accept it, fully own it. And uh, this is going to sound weird to some of you. Embrace it. Embrace it. Accept it. And by so doing, so I know ego mind the the. Re the response of the ego mind is to come up with a million and one little schemes and plans to get you away from it. No, you do the opposite, and by do it by so doing, it just dissipates. It just fades away. I know because I did exactly that today at work, where those of us who deal with customers know that there are days when you just want to ring their full neck okay and yeah if you get a few of those during during shift you can get pretty f fucking pissed off probably why i why i listen to um after work dimu borgo or a gorgoroth or um machine head <laughs> works wonders but that's just what i did i actually embraced it i accepted it I fully owned it and immersed myself in it and truly felt it. And within moments, it was gone. Within minutes, you know, however short while it takes, it went away. And when I finished work, I was feeling a lot better than before all this shit happened. There's a little esoteric trick for you that really, really works. Because really, at the end of the day, uh, at, at the end of the day, guys, and you know those of us who are MGTOW and Monk and all the rest of it, we like to talk with other guys about you know feminism and all this stuff. But even as my brother Cave Creature, you're a fucking legend, would would um, gently remind me, feminism is just a symptom of a broader problem, and that is the man is right on the money. So just something to, to bear in mind. Don't take everything which is out of your control and which is really not anything to do with you so to heart. It's bear, it, it bears thinking about. Uh, also, before I go, thank you very much for uh, bringing me over the 200 sub mark. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Those of you who know me well enough to know that I might have the gamers or the monks, the MGTOW, um, some of the esoteric people, uh, the Star Wars people, you know, all of you people and the music metal people, all of you people are fucking legends. Thank you very much. And um, 
special shout out to the two men whose um, company and fellow um, vision of the Islanders. We'll get into more of that later of uh, the group that um, they were developing. Cave Creature and um, Chewy or Chewbacca Cobra. You guys fucking rock. The Lone Wolf on guitar, out.